What's up everybody, today we're going to take a look at my package and then we're going to talk about beauty dishes. So in case you hadn't guessed it, this is a package from Len Carter. Obviously we're going to be talking about beauty dishes so no surprise what's inside. That's a beauty dish. Got the trusty Stanley knife so we're going to get in and take a look at it. So there. We now open. And in here, we have our beauty dish. The mount that I went for was the Bones mount, because all of our Godox lights and all the other adapters and things like that are all Bones mounts, so went for that. Also with that comes the reflector to go inside the beauty dish. We also get the honeycomb grid, which is great for dispersing the light in a central position and getting it focused on wherever you want it. So yeah, comes with that. And here is the beauty dish itself. So as you can see here, that's the dish. And that's where the mount goes on and also the reflector goes on the front there. So it's nice and simple to attach it. Basically you have these screws on the back, so you unscrew them, slot the adapter in and then screw them back in. Like that, they just need to tighten up. So obviously one goes in there and the other one in there. Tighten all them up and then that is the mount attached to the beauty dish. So as you can see there, that has the mount on, so that's now a Bones fit mount, so that fits on any Bones adapter. So next on the inside is the other little reflector that goes on. So as you can see on the inside, it's got these little prongs, so you just put it in that. So we are, there's the centre on, and then all you have to do is put the honeycomb grid on, and that's a complete. So as you can see there, that just attaches on, and there's a the beauty dish. The one that I went for was the 40cm beauty dish. We have two other of those in the studio and one has the, the grid on like that and the other one just has the sock diffusing filter. Those are exact same size as that so I can switch accessories between them and when one is broken then we can switch out parts and all that sort of thing. So the beginning of the video was just a quick unboxing from our new beauty dish but the main part of the video that we're going to talk about is what exactly a beauty dish is. So what is a beauty dish? A beauty dish is a lighting device also known as a modifier, and it uses a parabolic reflector which then distributes light to a focal point. The light which comes off a beauty dish is a mix between a flash and a soft box. What it does, it gives a wrapped and contrasted look which then gives your image more dramatic effect. There are two main differences between a beauty dish and a normal reflector. The first thing is that beauty dishes are generally much larger than a reflector. So the reflectors normally go from about 7 to 16 inches, whereas a beauty dish is much higher. There is much larger ones like a 70 centimeter, you can get over 100 centimeters and they're massive and give off really, really nice light. But we just stick with 40 just because the space that we normally use for portraits and things like that is very limited. And secondly, every beauty dish has that central reflector which you saw when we were assembling it. That central reflector covers the light source so it's not a direct hit towards the subject. What happens is that light hits the reflector, it bounces back into the beauty dish and the light surrounds in the entire beauty dish and therefore it gives a much softer light compared to a standard reflector and softbox. There's lots of different things that you can use a beauty dish for with your portraits, your commercial work, food photography, anything which needs a direct light which you can put directly on your subject and give it that dramatic effect then the beauty dish can be used for that. The main thing which we use a beauty dish for is for fashion and portraiture. Using it for that style of photography it allows us to get a direct light onto the subject exactly where we want and also create shadows and dramatic effect. Because the beauty dish wraps the light around the subject it gives the image a better contrast and highlights angles much more. So the light when you're using a reflector or a standard softbox it's very flat it's a nice light which comes off, it's very soft. However, when you use the beauty dish, the contrast and the light which hits around accentuating the features and angles is just much, much better. So that's why we use that for fashion and portrait photography. The beauty dish is obviously called a beauty dish because it accentuates the beauty of the model which you're taking the picture of. When it's lit with the beauty dish, the shadows that are cast on the face and the highlights that it brings out, it just sculpts the face much better than say an umbrella or an octobox or anything else similar to that. It's also used in sports photography and fitness photography. So if you're trying to take photographs of a sports person or someone who's into the gym and they've got the muscles, when you use the beauty dish, the light falls down and just creates all the shadows on the muscles and things like that and it just really pops it out of the image. We also use it quite often with product photography so we can direct the light exactly where we want it and you can have the light fade off a subject and just make sure that it highlights that certain part of the subject. So there's a number of different ways you can use the beauty dish. For one example which is the most popular probably is the one light setup. So basically you get one light, put the beauty dish on and you shoot the model or your subject with that 
one light. Sometimes what happens when the light comes down, you're going to get shadows under the eyes and under the nose. If you don't want that, then you can just add a reflector or anything white just to bounce the light back up. The next thing that you can do is a two light setup. So you have the beauty dish on one side, lighten it up, and you can also have another light either underneath or the other side just to light up the extra areas which you want to show and not have it in shadow or just to make them pop out of the image. So obviously we saw earlier we had the grid with the beauty dish and that creates a nice contrasted look. However, if you want to go the opposite way and you want a nice soft creamy look and you put the sock over it which is a diffusion panel and it gives a really nice soft light. As we've discussed, the beauty dish is a really really nice light for portraiture. However, if used incorrectly, it's not very forgiving. Again, when talking about the angle of the beauty dish, it's very very important to have it at the right angle. Generally, you have the beauty dish high up and pointing down so it reflects the light on the subject's face here. Another thing great about the beauty dish is the catch light which is in the model's eyes when you're taking a picture. If you look in closer you'll see that there's a circle of light and in that circle there's a little black circle and that's how you can tell that a beauty dish has been used. Comparing the beauty dish to say a strip box or an octobox, when you're taking pictures and you look in the catch lights you'll be able to see a rectangle or an octagon and it's not as flattering as it is just a circle. That's just a quick rundown of the beauty dish. What I'm going to be doing in the near future is recording a video of an actual studio shoot when I'm using the beauty dish and go over the different techniques and the angles and all that sort of thing when using it as to get the best from it. We'll do one with a single light, two light setup and also a three light setup and generally what I like to do is use some gels and the beauty dish and it just really pops the image and gives that a vibrant effect and just really colourful. Also, we'll be discussing some other ways in which you can get some really creative portraits. For example, having the beauty dish behind shooting forward and have the person in front so you create a silhouette or have two beauty dishes either side and create a really fantastic effect. Hope you enjoyed the video and remember to give it a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm still in the process of sorting out the backdrop here. I did have one already set up with the TV and the neon lights and stuff like that, but we got this new setting in the studio and I want to switch it around. So what I'm going to be doing is just setting this up all correctly, adding the neon lights back here, also changing these for black plugs so they're more hidden and other things like that. I think it's much easier just when I'm talking to the camera, sit down on the settee and talk to it rather than standing up. And it's been a while since I've been on the channel. I've been doing a lot of stuff on my Magic YouTube channel. Now I'm getting back to the photography stuff. So I've got loads of reviews and behind the scenes photo shoots and all that sort of stuff which is coming out. When I started to pick up the channel again back in March, that's when COVID hit. So I couldn't really do much with it, especially with photo shoots and behind the scenes and things like that. But now we're getting back to work and we're getting commercial work in and other stuff like that. It'd be good to bring you on behind the scenes. And again, lots of tutorials. So do some lighting tutorials, some editing tutorials and various other things, especially regarding video and photography. Until next time, see ya.